Hi friends and welcome. Today I'll be decorating my pier in five different ways. I hope some of you find this video helpful and it gives you some inspo for your island. Now let's get into this video. For this first one, I call it Fine Dining and Breathing Pier Design. If you know where that's from, come here, give me a hug because we just became eternal besties. For real though, when I'm done with this build, you'll understand why it's called Fine Dining and Breathing. When the new update came out and Nintendo added these face panel thingies, I saw this design and I loved it so much for the pier. This fancy design inspired me to create like this little dinner area by the pier, so I gathered some fancy and cute looking items in a game to kind of blend the panels and items together. The face panel also has this garden stand design drawn on it so I ended up using the turkey day garden stand and I love this heart-shaped bouquet in pink that we got for Valentine's Day. It is just so beautiful. So for our little dining area we need a little date so I added this much stool for our date to sit on. Our little date is this little plushie. Then I'm adding our table and setting the mood with this pink glass candle holder. I added this mum cushion for us to sit and it also looks cute when you're not sitting on it so and of course to finish up the build nothing says classy and fancy than this lily record player here is how the build ended up looking look at me all happy with my little date <laughs> this second peer design i call it peer study sesh for this one, I wanted to create a little study area. If you haven't noticed, I'm obsessed with study areas. <laughs> I feel like books and candles just make any space on your island look cozy and lived in. For this pier design, I decided to use this pink checkered design code as a little blanket for us to sit on. I added this clover design so that I will know where to put the pile of leaves on and it also looks like the leaves are more scattered. I put this lacy rug design code to make the wooden stool look more cute and cozy. Then I added this stack of books to look more studious of course. I'm heading over to this side now. For this side, I wanted to add this street lamp to give this area some more light since it's closer to the water. I wanted to add more greenery, so I added this yucca plant, which can I just add yucca chips are like the bomb? <laughs> no, just me. Okay. <laughs> Of course, I had to include my mama bear. She's our little study buddy. I'm adding this log bench to serve as a table, kind of like a half table. And on top of our table, I'm going to add this mom's candle set and butterfly book. Of course, we need somewhere to sit. So I added this Zen cushion with this cute rose custom design. Then I felt a little extra. So I decided to add star fragments to the area. Nintendo wants to play games with me. <laughs> <laughs> that star fragment definitely could have fit there. Like, look at that space. There's enough space. So I decided to drop one star fragment here and then remove the Zen cushion and Mama Bear so that I can get to that spot next to the street lamp. But I swear, if I can't fit this star fragment here, I'm quitting this game. <laughs> it looks a little bit odd because the star fragments are kind of like aligned in a straight line, kind of like in a horizon, but eh, who cares? <laughs> So here is how the build ended up looking. I'm not going to lie. I think this one is number one on my list. It's so cute and cozy. I kind of want to live here. <laughs> And here's how it looks at night. It looks so magical at night, like the lighting makes a difference, I can tell you. For the third pier design, I call it relaxing and sunbathing. Now for this design, I wanted to create an area where you can relax and sunbathe. I mean, we are on a deserted island, right? <laughs> so I'm starting off by adding this blanket for us to lay on. Then for this corner, I wanted to create like an ambiance. So I'm using this fan palm to help us de-stress. I'm using this wooden mini table that I customized with these cute little green mushrooms. And of course, I added this mom's candle on top. I added this mama bear to keep us company, you know? <laughs> I love plushies so much that half of my desk is filled with them. Like I am so, so obsessed. <laughs> So I'm going to drop a star fragment here because I didn't know what else to put here. Plus it makes the build look magical. 
Now for the relaxation and sunbathing part, I added this cute little butterfly book. Then I used the same Zen cushion from the last build so that I can add the coconut juice on top. I couldn't decide if I wanted the little flower to show or not, then I ended up turning it so that the flower can show. I used this beach towel and customized it with the same code as the blanket so that it looks like you're laying on top of the blanket. It looks so cool, right? I'm finishing up the build with this cute cherry blossom umbrella and just like the last build, I added this clover leaf design so that the green leaf pile looks more extended and dropping another star fragment. So this is how the build ended up looking and here is how it looks at night. See how cool the beach towel looks? Our fourth pier design, I call it Pier Side Hangout. This design, you may have seen it in some of my videos on YouTube or TikTok. I was inspired by a lot of the videos I've seen on TikTok of the different hangout spots in New York. So I took in all of that inspo and just created my own little thing. I extended the blankets a bit further than the other ones in this video, only so that the items can all fit on the blanket. I added this Nova light to give this area some fairy core vibes. In the videos that I've seen, there were a lot of musicians on the streets so I added this Virgo harp and lily player to incorporate that aspect. The hangout spots that I've seen had these parasol and chairs surrounding it so I decided to use the cinema roll parasol because it's super cute and colorful. Then I used the rattan set in white. I used the stool as a little table for the mom's candle and I added the armchairs on to both sides. Then when I thought I was done with the builds, I was staring at the Nova Light, Virgo Harp, and Lily Player, and I didn't like how they were all so close to each other, so I moved up the Lily Record Player and tried to align myself in the middle of the Record Player and the Nova Light so that I can place the Virgo Harp there. Here is how this fourth build ended up looking, and here is how it looks at night. Now for the last pier design, I call it Artist at Work. For this design, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram and Pinterest create like a little painting area where they've used Red's art to make it look like someone or they were painting it. I've seen it mostly on rock formations, but I rarely see it on piers, so I've decided to create one of my own. I started off by adding this cinnamon roll stool to act as a little table for the trees, bouncy lamp, some maybe art books. I really love this glowy painting because it looks like you've painted from reference or painted a boat to come rescue from this deserted island that Tom Nook brought you to only to force you to work and pay loans that you didn't even want but Tom Nook insisted on you getting. <laughs> so so off topic i i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> but anyway so i'm just adding a little seating area if you just want to sit and relax while the air from the water just hits you now i'm finishing off the build with this white street lamp and filling the area with some star fragments here is how the build ended up looking here is how it looks at night Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. Love you all always. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.